Welcome to Spitfire Mods. This is going to be a laser replacement in a 410 PS3 Blu-ray uh, drive. First thing you're going to do is remove your Blu-ray drive. You're then going to take out the two screws in the back side and the two screws on the front, which will let you remove your top cover. Once your top cover's off, you're going to remove a screw from the rear of the drive, in the center of the rear, and then two screws on both sides in the front. Okay, once those are out, there's two tabs on both sides of the drive. You lift those tabs, lift, lift the top directly up, and set it aside. You don't want those levers to be moving around as much as possible. Now, once you have it open, you have your laser here, which uh, rides on the, on the rails and has the stepper motor to the right-hand side. What you're going to want to do is lift the tab holding the ribbon cable into your laser, put the tab back down, and then along this rail to the back of the drive, you're going to see one metal metal clamp type piece which is held in by one small screw. You're going to remove that piece and then grabbing a hold of that rear rod you're going to lift it just far enough so that you can slide it slide it backwards you lift it out above, up so that it'll clear the rod and then once that slides back you're just going to lift your whole laser assembly out like that. Once you've inserted your replacement laser you're going to reverse the process Push the front of the bar down until it goes under the clip and then lift it so that it comes into place and hits the front stop. And then take your rear and pop it back into place so that it's secure. And then reattach the clip that you remove to get access to that bar. This way you're removing the laser by only taking out one screw and you don't have to disturb too much. So this is the, the clip that holds the rear ar uh, bar down, the guide rail. You, that's the one screw you remove and then you got to make sure that this left side actually fits, uh, there's a little groove in the laser assembly that it sits on the rail. And then once it's in, make sure it glides freely because sometimes this binds right here and you have to pop that down onto the stepper motor again. Once that's back into place, lift the lever on your laser. Make sure your cable goes all the way in, and when you lock it down, the black stripe should actually be flush with the, with the arm. Now make sure your bottom cover is in place. Then take your top piece, put it, drop it directly down again, make sure that everything's flush. You want to actually move this piece here and when you move that, you should see your arm below is caught so that it's actually moving back and forth. Okay, once you have the top down, you're going to put the three screws back into the drive. There's one in the center of the back, two in the front, left and right side. Then angling your front down. I have my bottom tray loose. Normally you leave the one center screw in on that so that it stays flush in the front, which will make your front go on better. And once you have that in place, if your front drops below the front, you can actually lift that out and above afterwards. You want to make sure that the cover actually dropped down all the way and that your little tabs on the sides are both in place. And then once that's back together, put your two screws in the back, two screws in the front, and you should be good to 